Well, as you can see behind me, the fences are still up around this new T station right down the hill from Somerville City City Hall. According to the T, when this line opens next month, 80% of Somerville residents will live within walking distance of a station like this. Test trains are running on the Green Line extension. Crews are finishing up work on the new stations. And the MBTA's general manager announced at today's board meeting that the project will finally soon be complete. I am pleased to announce that the Green Line extension Medford branch uh, will open at the start of service on December 12th. The T had previously announced that the line would open by the end of this month, but the DM says it will take a bit longer. We wanted to make sure that we did it safely and we did it properly. A shorter spur of the Green Line to Union Square in Somerville opened last March. The remaining part of the 4.3 mile extension will include five new stations through Somerville and Medford. I know it's a little bit of a delay and it's been years of delay, but to finally have a date with for when the Green Line will open is so exciting. Medford's mayor says the line will transform her community, leading to fewer cars on the roads and eventually to more apartments and condo buildings. You're going to definitely see dense housing along the T-spots. Among the most excited about the new Green Line are Tufts University students. For them, getting into Boston right now means shuttle buses and multiple transfers. How long does it take you to get into Boston now when you take the shuttle and get over? The like a good hour. So Boston sometimes feels kind of far away. Yeah, definitely. We checked the calendar and next week's ribbon, next month, month's ribbon cutting on the new line of the, the Green Line extension will come exactly 10 years and two days after the initial groundbreaking.